What's up, YouTube? Cold as shit out here. Uh, I want to talk about how there is so much confusion when people uh, they, they try to pick a method of dog training or whatever. And there's these debates between what works and what doesn't work. And this is science and that's not important. And it's all about the relationship. And then some people are flying magic carpets or whatever the hell that shit was on the it's me or the dog episode. I'm kind of following up on what I did yesterday. The, the, the problem, the root of all these problems that everybody needs to understand is there's no one way to do anything. There's no one way to train a dog. And the disconnect I'm seeing here is that the people, the only people that argue this stuff, that you need to have a balance of both, the only people that argue this stuff are the people that don't understand how to apply this stuff, right? There's a lot of people that could change their own oil in their car. And they don't walk around pretending to be mechanics, right? Just because your neighbor Dave could change his own oil in his car, you wouldn't go to Dave to rebuild your transmission, though, you know, because he's a insurance salesman five days a week. He's, he's not a mechanic. He could just change his own oil, right? That's the issue when it comes to dogs. People are trying to cherry pick the parts of training that they like, whether or not they have anything to do with the dog in front of them, whether or not the dog in front of them is responding to that type of training, doesn't matter. Um, you're not going to just be calm and make your dog calm. You, you know, and that, that's, that, that's one of the other things I see a lot is square peg, round hole. Somebody will go out and get a, a dog that is bred to be batshit crazy and then want somebody to show them how to how to make him be calm. Or somebody will suggest that they just make the dog be calm and it'll fix all their behavioral issues. I'm sitting here. I'm cool as a cucumber. Drinking fucking apple juice. My dog ain't fucking calm, homie. <laughs> ain't nothing calm about that dog. Hold on, let me show you. Watch. I'm going to calmly walk over. Be calm though. Come on, be calm. <laughs> but but you're not being why 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 aren't you being calm? I, I'm calm. Good vibes. Oh, oh okay. See that shit don't work. There has to be a language that you develop with the dog. You're gonna have to take time to establish that language. Think about it this way. If you are your average American citizen and you have never, ever, ever learned a word of Spanish in your entire life and you go to work in a Mexican restaurant and you never worked in a restaurant either and everybody's blah, 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 in Spanish to you, you're completely fucking lost. So unless somebody takes the time to teach you and they're going to start teaching you single words, one word at a time. And that's how you're going to bridge that language barrier. Once you learn the language, then people can tell you how to do what you need to do. They're going to use some type of communication with you to, to show you like, you know, hey, this is the word for this. This is the word for that. This is the word for this to try to help you communicate with them. It's no different with the dogs. They don't speak our fucking language. They don't uh, they don't need to be dominated into submission to where they're cowering on the floor, afraid to move while you stand there and talk to somebody. There, there's no need for that. There's no there's no one part of training that you're going to use to fully train a dog. That's the whole point to a method. It is a combination of all these things that you're going to use at the appropriate time. The whole problem is, is you got to take time to learn. You have to learn the process before you can um, try to discredit the process, first of all. You have to learn the process. You have to learn how to apply these things and when to apply them. That is the name of the game. That is what makes you a good dog trainer 
or a not good dog trainer is how you can adjust to the dog. If if you walk in here to tomorrow with a chihuahua, I have no doubt I'm going to be able to train your dog for you. If you walk in here tomorrow with a pit bull, if you walk in here tomorrow with a German shepherd, if you walk in here tomorrow with an aggressive dog, a fearful dog, a hyper dog, a lazy dog, does not matter. I understand how to apply pressure and I understand how to build engagement. And I understand how to talk to the dog. So therefore I will get results for you no matter how that dog is because my method works with every dog. So I'm not saying that I'm better than anybody. I do think it, but I'm not saying it. All right. Your value as a trainer, your value as a handler, what, however you want to call it. Anybody that handles dogs is a dog trainer to some degree, whether you're a professional or not. Your training ability is directly related to your ability to adjust to whatever the dog in front of you needs. Some dogs need firm, consistent, a, a, a strong hand. Some dogs can't handle that. Some dogs need a gentle hand. Some dogs need a light touch. You know, they, they need a little bit of finesse. A lot of times your more intelligent, high drive dogs will need a little more finesse. Um, a lot of times you're more bullheaded, stronger, don't think as much, just go, go, go. Those dogs need a little more aversives. And then you got some timid dogs that they need a little bit of both. They need a little bit of reinforcement, but you need to add a little pressure to it so that they they learn to cope. They learn to cope with the stress. It's, it, there's no magic bullet. This isn't hunting vampires or werewolves or <sighs> fucking Aladdin with magic carpets. <laughs> Y'all can tell I'm hung up on that shit. We're going to charge the magic carpet. <sighs> shit, I'm going to make jokes about that for a year. But, um, yeah, as y'all see, I mean, I got time to sit out here. This dog's going to stay on here for an hour. Anyway... I probably just rambled on a lot, but that's all right. That's all right. There's a, there, there's a lot of opinions being thrown around now. And there's a lot of videos where there's, you know, people kind of just speak in their minds. So I might as well, right? Anyway, tell me what you think in the comments. Like I said, it doesn't matter what method of training you pick to use or, or you know, who, who you pick to model after. As long as you're not hurting the dog and as long as you're getting results... I have at it, but my advice is don't limit yourself. Don't, don't try to cherry pick through and say, I'm only going to train this way. What you need to do is you need to learn all these different ways so that you can see when they're applied best. 